What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're doing another episode of Chasing the Best Work Footwear. These are the Timberland Pro Pit Boss 6 inch steel toe boots. So these things uh, have been near and dear to my heart for a long time. If you haven't watched any of my reviews in the past, uh, and you are joining us now, please know that every single boot that I do a review on, I put at least a million steps in. So I estimate this pair to be around two million steps. Sometimes that takes uh, six months, sometimes it takes a year. I've had these boots for a little while now, um, and they've held up great. If you're interested in what I have to say about them, stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. So the real reason why we're here is these steel toe pit bosses. So these boots are pretty awesome because they're all black. So when you have an all black boot, you're not really worried about anything staining them or keeping mink oil on them. Um, you kind of neglect them. So having them black uh, definitely keeps them, you know, maybe a little bit worse for the weather, but it keeps the maintenance down. So what I wanted to show you is uh, something like the Gridworks. If you've seen me do uh, my review on the Gridworks before, um, this is my current favorite boot. Uh, you know, you have the white sole, it's hard to keep clean. And then you just see the salt staining here um, in the leather. So you have to go through and basically clean that salt staining out, um, scrub it out. Uh, and then you have to go through and apply mink oil. So, I mean, to keep a, a pair of boots like this nice is very, very difficult. So when it comes to all black boot, it's got my thumbs up there because, uh, you know, they're kind of low maintenance. So one thing I will say about these is they are steel toe. So uh, they inherently are going to be cold. If you're trying to wear them in the winter time, um, you're going to, it's going to be problematic. No matter how much uh, wool you pack around your toes or how many toe warmers you do, uh, th this, this steel stays in contact with the outside. Um, you know, just has a leather, uh, leather layer over top of it and they're inherently going to stay cold, keeping your feet cold. So these are def definitely not a wintertime boot. I definitely like them for summertime and hotter weather. Um, they are great for that. But I'm gonna give them a thumbs down because they are a steel toe. If you need something in the winter but still stay, uh, or still need to be in compliance with a steel toe, then you need to look at a composite toe shoe uh, where you know you have uh, a little bit of insulation and it's not so cold all the time. So the other thing about these boots is if you can tell in the video here, um, there's not much tread on these. So uh, it didn't come with a lot more tread than you're seeing here now. These are oil resistant and slip resistant, um, but they aren't very aggressive on the tread. So you're definitely gonna find yourself if you get off into the mud or uh, into the grass that if it's slippery, you're gonna slip around in these. Um, I work in mechanical rooms all day and on concrete um, usually walking on the sidewalks and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, these have proven very well for that. But as far as getting off-road, um, they are not very aggressive for that type of work. So um, if you're working in the cold and off in the mud somewhere, these are probably not the boot for you. So I'm just going to put that out there. Now, I've had some wear and tear here, as you can see here uh, on the back of the boot, uh, basically where it spreads open. Uh, one is worse than the other. I've got some uh, some of the padding coming out, but you know th that's just normal wear and tear. Uh, not nothing that I would have bad to say about them. They have pretty good build quality. I um, really haven't worn them out. There's been tons and tons of walking on these, um, two million steps at, at the very least. Um, I've had these for about a year and a half. I've been vetting them for since I uh, started the playlist. So let's go ahead and weigh these. I think these are on the light side. I have not weighed these yet. Um, I, I feel these are on the light side when it comes to some of my other boots. So these come in at two pounds, two ounces. So two pounds, two ounces, that's, that's pretty on par with all of the other six inch boots that we've done reviews on, whether it be composite toe or steel toe. They're all pretty much right there on that 2.2, 2.0. Now that one weighs two 
two ounce or two pounds one and a half ounces so half ounce lighter on here probably longer shoelace who knows um, for comparison if i had the uh, the gridworks boot up here uh, two pounds five ounces so if you're shaving a little bit off um, most of that is up here in um, you know your eight inch style boot so uh, when it comes to weight it's it's pretty darn on par with everything else out there so let's get down to the price so at 95 bucks for these um, going right right now uh, it's an awesome deal uh, when you're talking about the thorough goods and the Timberland pros that we've been through in the past you know we're talking upwards of over and above $250. So at, at $250 bucks and sometimes above, you know, $94 is some very, very affordable boots. I don't call them cheap. I call them affordable. Um, these are a very good pair. Um, if you, you know, if your application is right, it's subjective to what everybody's doing. These boots not, might not work for you. Um, these boots might be perfect for you. So it just depends on your line of work, what you're doing. So that's all I really have to say about the boot. It's an awesome uh, two thumbs up. If you're wearing them in the winter and trying to get around and uh, if you're doing snow removal or off, um, off the beaten path and trying to do that and get traction, I'm gonna give them a thumbs down on that. But Overall, for what I use them for, they're an awesome boot, and I will definitely keep them in my arsenal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the quick down and dirty review of these pit bosses. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I don't know if you have a question if you don't ask. So I'd love to help you out. Um, go over and check out my playlist on Chasing the Best Work Footwear. I've got many videos up. We're, we're doing socks, other boots, um, boot dryer, stuff like that. Everything for your feet, best footwear. Uh, Boom, just like that. If you're a longtime subscriber and you've been around for a while and you're loyal to the channel, <laughs> you get a thumbs up from me. But as always, you know what time it is. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And we'll see you guys in the next video.